Welcome, guys, to what may well be the last broadcast of First Edition Thrones that what very we well maybe. at Team Covenant will ever do. A bittersweet moment, but we're For going to see these these past and future champions out the door with style. We shall, because one of them is from America, and the other from the Europe. From Sweden. From Sweden, to be accurate. Jacob Holtman there on the right, playing against Seth Lowe on the left. This is Worlds Tournament 2015 in Roseville, Minnesota, and we're diving right into it. We've got Euron's enforcers, enforcers. Unheard of. So one of my absolute right favorite off the bat, cards. this is an unseen card, one of Steven's favorites of all time in the history of the universe. He had a great joy deck that was centered around this guy. We I don't think have ever seen this card in tournament play before. Just gonna speak anecdotally. It's, here. Ma it's making it happen right here. But though. it is making it happen. The Raiders, Against a refugee and a bird, and a bird carrying bird. Now this is a pretty pretty interesting setup, I, and and I use that term uh, endearingly. The <laughs> The, the thing to look for here is that Jacob has exactly what he wants. He's got economy, he's got a save, and he's got a big old beater that he's going to have to uh, play around with the board. And then on the other side, Seth probably probably upset he didn't get a little bit of economy in that mm -hmm. flop. He's going to go right for Lewin here without the gates. Uh, Jacob's going to be dropping Kings of Mountain and Veil vale here, and that's going to get him a card next turn and essentially a free one-claim intrigue challenge. Plus one, minus one. Uh, next turn as well. So... Uh, this this deck now, Jacob. We talked to Jacob uh, at the con, and this deck is all about trying to recreate the days of Greyjoy, just complete destruction, the glory long days. voyage, right? Yes. This is the old long voyage deck. Which you're let me tell cards, you, you're making it happen. A deck to be reckoned with. Absolutely, it was. Terrifying. Oh my gosh, it was unbelievable. And then Seth on the other end, running the uh, dark very wings, very dark words. very good oh, House Hall, of Dreams. Excuse uh, me. Yeah, House of Dreams, Heron Hall. Of course, when a character dies, search the top three, get a card. So this yes. is just a classic start card draw Or engine. the Gerund Hall. A lot of folks running that deck on the day, and it made it all the way to the finals. It has some serious legs. It is hard to put you down. You learned how to speak in Gerunds, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Running. <laughs> All right, so Jacob's looking good. Seth's looking good. We got a Maester Lewin. Essentially, a Siskel plot coming out. D Plus, a card up. is just an incredible little plot here. Unbelievable. And Lewin is an amazing Maester. He's he's uh, tied for best in the One of the, the bestest best of the game, for the restus. Without a doubt. What do you, what do with, you think? Uh, with who's the, who's your tie, though? Uh, I don't Mirimer? know. I mean, Wendy and Murmur are both real Mirimer? good. I mean, they're both real good. And four gold to three gold. So this is already, it just it just starts out. And the C Tower, Robert Knight, we, you haven't seen this card as much probably. because Is we it kinda, a reducer? Yeah, we blew out a first edition as soon as we heard about second edition. We kind of just stopped. <laughs> See ya. Uh, but that's just, yeah, it's just like, hey, here's a reducer. That's great. Zero like, cost reducer. Okay, I'll Why take not? it. We got Brienne hitting the board here for Seth. The, uh, oh, the bane of Greyjoy. The bane of Greyjoy. Can't trigger your saves. It's like, what are you talking about? I want to do things. I want to trigger. Brienne's like, meow. Yeah, I'm a lady. I'm a lady knight. And I have a sword given to me by a Lannister, and that means you can't do anything. You can't trigger a thing. None not, of it. Not a thing. Jacob watching patiently. Now, now important to note, he's playing Dark Wings, Dark Words. He's going to be getting some card draws. There's a nice uh, little piece of econ there. And he chose to go second here. That's right. Now, that's that to me is fascinating because I love how different players value first and second. We've talked about it many times, Robert. It's, it's a tale as old as time, a debate as old as time, more accurately. And it really all depends on what you're trying to do, I suppose, when it comes into it. That's the biggest factor. But... Uh well, Jacob's just watching. See, he wants to wait and watch and He's see. He's assessing right now. This is what I like, too. I like going second, and I want to just watch and see, what do I have to play to just win this round of combat? And Euron's Enforces have an Intimidate, plus one for every Raider on the board. Dissension takes the Refugee away. Mm. That's going to draw Jacob a card. Very good Dark Wings play there. Exactly Boom. what he wanted right there. I'll trade you one character for me drawing a card. That Absolutely. Re that really upsets uh, the Stark board over here because Seth now has to make harder decisions on his challenges and, more importantly, on his kills. There's the Oarsman. Because I would, I would kill a Refugee over even a Carrion Bird Oh, absolutely. Any day. That stealth is going to be a big deal. And we have the Ambitious Oarsman. It's going to be giving plus one strength to the Enforcer. I cannot believe I'm seeing an Ambitious Oarsman in the finals of Game of hey, Thrones. Hey, man, first edition changed, man. Changed when we got out. That's it, the sisters there. It looks it like an altar. It changed. It got crazy. That I last think it, cycle. It was the 12th cycle, the, the Swan Song cycle. I think it turned into exactly what I wanted Triple it to S. be. There's an Island Refugee. Fujis. And we're just flooding the board. That's right. And this is looking really good. We haven't seen any green icons yet for the Greyjoys, which and, they love. And no gold spent, really. No gold spent. It's all for free. 
Which, to get two characters out for free, I mean, if I were Seth, I'd be a little concerned yeah, already. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Oh, and then we're, we just continue to reduce, reduce, Orsman reduce. and Sisters, just a lot of econ. One gold, something good, because whenever Greyjoy is spending three for something, it's going to be worth it. Oh, my It's goodness. the Enraged Crewman. Love Another that Raider, card. so we have uh, the Enforcers now at four, five, five strength. Five strength. Yeah, because it counts itself. It counts itself. Six strength, because the Ambitious Orsman. Oh, that's is that right? right, yes. It's just ludicrous. Uh, now, Enraged Crewman also has a naval military icon. It has melee, of course, and if it's participating, you win as challenged by four or more is considered unopposed, uh, which can be significant, even if just for the power gain. Uh, but also, really, just a raider. I mean, sometimes that's enough. Just and, a raider. And uh, we were talking to Jacob after the game, and he said going into this, his overall strategy was to just, uh, with this deck in in general, is to try to get his opponent into a place where he's denied them the opportunity to do what they want to do for long enough that he eventually gets an opening to try to do what he wants to do. So we're going to see if he can actually do that. I'll bet he can. There's the Sunset well, Sea coming Mur. in for Muren Mur, so he's going to seal it even more. Now, here's some critical decision points, right? Do you really want to play more at this point? This I would say like no. Otherwise, you're you're really provoking the Valor. It's a Tasty Valor with a duped Lewin, and there's oh, another, another one. Oh, another one, man. Flooding that board hard. So Jacob maybe want to try to force the Valor here even, because if he gets that Valor out of Seth's plot plot deck plot really deck early. early, he can just keep this flood going, and if he can keep the card drag going. Now what Seth needs to look at here is how can I get cards out of Jacob's hand. Correct. That has got to be his biggest thing right now. Get cards out of his hand. And Seth's in a tight spot because, simply, he cannot win a military or power challenge right now if Jacob wants to say no to him. Yeah, he's going to have to take that intrigue, but that's the one that he needs and it gets him an event. That's right. You're exactly right, Kent. And, of course, we have Heron Hall, so that's going to keep his hand going. He needs to win the hand race that's in, true. This, in this one. Is he going to lead with Intrigue? He's looking around. It's a looking good option. Around. It's a good option. It's the best option, I think, for, for right now. We'll see what he does. He's in the finals, not us. Dark Wings, of course, meaning you can only have one copy of any event. So uh, some of the more scary things, like a Die by the Sword or whatnot, that you might be concerned about from that Enforcer. Or Assertion of Might, Stephen. <laughs> We're definitely not, not in the deck. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Lewin there, going to be an intrigue challenge. It's Coming in. unopposed. Jacob knows what happens there. Now, of course, this is always kind of like the pickle with going first on the first turn, getting one of one these. One of three cards, gets an assault oh, of the crack, and that could have been. That's a great one. That could have been a big deal there. That's, that, a, that's a death nail card right there when that gets played. Now, I, it may, and it I don't know if it was going to come into play this round because, you know, let's say the most effective thing really right now is Jacob doing two military challenges. Correct. So two claim, I think that absolutely guarantees the Valor, which he might be doing anyway. Yep. Uh, there goes the no quarter. Mm-hmm. We Gorgeous. all know what that means. There's a boom mic there. Had a bit of a crowded setup there at the, uh, the world's camera shop. It's extra boomy. Too bad it's not ours. No, it's not. That's a nice looking microphone from what I can tell. I'll bet you it will take a few seconds to realize that that's in the shot, and then we will be out and then I'll get Mike territory. Cleared? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Let's hope. All right, Seth, getting his no quarter there from uh, Lewin. I can only see 95% of the top of Seth's deck, and that's really bothering <laughs> me right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing one corner of the deck <laughs> I'm here. I'm missing a corner here. Um, but it's the corner that matters. So hard to say what Seth can really do here. Other than study it out and hope well, for the he's, best. He's doing that. Looks like Seth passes, passes. challenges. Miramar going to return with an intrigue challenge. And Seth lays the cards out. He's got plenty to choose from. And Choosing? we have... Ooh, that's Mance. Mance. Old Mancy Pants. That's the old Mance. Three cost for a three strength Tricon. What a deal. That's all you need to say. That's all you need to say. Flexibility out the wazoo. All yeah. tart too. That's all you need to say. All right, and then Seth, uh, I guess you can't be terribly sad about that. No, you can't. You can't be terribly sad. You, you can't imagine that that's a critical piece of, of his hand yeah, right it, now. Yeah, that usually represents just a solid one of character because the value is impeccable. And Run Rage the folio. Crewman coming in. Now, remember, he does have a naval opportunity that's with right. the other crewman. And anything four or higher will be considered unopposed regardless. Here regardless. So Brian looks like the only block if you want to prevent the unopposed challenge. That's right. 
Oh, but we do have melee, do so have that melee. makes it even worse. Even I, there's worse. really no way out here. This is going to be unopposed if he wants it. And yeah. there's Claim on the bird. Calls it unopposed, claims the bird, triggers Heron Hall. going to look at the top three, going to take one of those into his hand. And this is what this deck does. Yeah, Heron Hall is a crazy card. It just keeps People you like it. on top of that tempo, right? It's mm -hmm. like, do I need economy now? Do I need a character? Do I need this bomb event? What do I need to do? And I believe the restricted over there is Narrow Escape. Yes. Uh, which, as you imagine, this is a steady, steady, solid deck. Plays out to the board, plays out to the board. You try to Valor it, you try to kill it, it comes right back. Strong fundamentals. And that's the end, man. Mm -hmm. if, that, if that play happens, that's the end. You got to pitch your hand. Yes, which often isn't, isn't, isn't enough. <laughs> it isn't enough. Greyjoy is in a good position to do it because usually uh, the hand kind of becomes very small after a few yes. turns. And moreover, they have the best like card economy in the game. Mm -hmm. what, what Greyjoy pays for a character is, on average, better than any other house in the game. I've heard that, but I don't believe it. Do you really I play, not? I play Do you really Greyjoy. not? I don't know. I look at Lewin and I'm like, well, I'd pay three for that. I think what ultimately held Greyjoy back was that they didn't have the fundamentals as well as any other house either. They didn't have the card draw or the econ. That's why they got the Sea Tower recently, right. and they got Running Dark Wings for that's card right. draw. So the whole the whole thing has come together, and this Kings of Mountain and Vale going to get him another card next turn. Can you believe it? It's just all leveraging kind of what was traditionally Greyjoy's weaknesses. And now there's enough cards it's to a whole new offset world. them. It's a whole new world. But it's the end of a whole new world, sadly. Yes, the la the final game, Robert. Can you believe this? The final. It's first come full edition. circle. This game started up in what two thousand and something. I don't even think it's I was some born years when this old. Thing started. I'm not a historian. CCG goes back to the '60s. Mm-hmm. Became an LCG twenty years later. Here they come, the enforcers. Power. It's going to be unopposed, Power. as you might imagine, because it intimidates. Unbelievable. And then dominance. So a clear five power first yeah, turn. Yeah, a third of the way there already. Very impressive. This puts added pressure on Seth to probably Wait, this has to be a have valor. to drop that Valor. Look at valor. this board. Before, before another Iron Mines gets out there, it's got to be the Valor. Yes. You've got to hope for the one of Risen of the Sea from be the Sea is not Because the enforcers essentially pick and choose whatever challenge they want to yep. win. And that brute simplicity is so strong in this game that you have to get rid of it almost immediately. You gotta. So the Valor is very tempting here. I don't know what else he could do other than like a no quarter for target to kill because he Which, can't even yeah, win because his, he's not going to win the challenge that no quarter best out. needs. Yeah, yeah that's so his best like, out. Uh, he's got a Valor and then he's got to kill probably the Enforcers that get saved by the Iron Mines. Correct. Uh, or just try to, try to, he could also really, I think the Intrigue challenge is going to be huge. Like right. getting cards out of hand here would be a big deal. There's the Valor and a Retaliation. Valor versus Retaliation is a classic. Which is as good as it gets Absolutely for Jacob classic, here. Yeah. This is exactly what Jacob wants. Called it correctly. All right, attempting to save Lewin. See if there's any cancels in hand. And the save is good. Save's good. Bryn goes out of there. Iron Mind's going to save the Enforcers, I imagine. Undoubtedly. No, I'm gonna save the ambitious oarsman. Could could also be a mirror. mirror. Sometimes you do want to save. Mirror but mirror, you're you're a cancel junkie. Yeah, you got that C free base of those cancels lately. It's two gold. Just to get back to normal. And the old Greyjoy scoop. Mm -mm -mm. There will be no narrow escape, I assure you. Nope. Seth wants this as much as anybody. Nope. He won't narrow escape his own valor. No, he he's won't. A, just a wild, wild man. Wild and crazy guy. All right, and then Kings of Mountain and Vale is going to resolve here as ching, it moves ching. to the used pile. We oh, get that no, no quarter. quarter out of hand. That is lethal. All right, so that threat not to be uh, not to be worried about, and then we trigger Heron Hall because the character has died. Jaren and Hall. everybody just getting some solid fundamentals going on here. It's true. Seth's card draw, excellent. He's got the engine going. Mm -hmm. He's got Lewin with an additional card draw mechanic on him. He's got a little economy. But Jacob's coming in with two claim, and this is the problem, the post-Valor turn. Can ja you get enough guys on the board? Yeah, Jacob to... is unconcerned here, and it all depends on, does Seth have enough economy to put more than one character out? That's a big question. He's got to get a few, at least a few bodies out there. Yeah. 
another bird or something, a refugee or two. Lewin, Lewin's essential Ooh, here. There's parting a... blow. Oh, snap. Neil Lewin. No draw. After something is killed and draws a car with dark wings, and uh, that is an incredible turn here for Jacob. Already. That means so much. That means that is so much, Unbelievable. Robert. He sat Lewin down, which means... No card for Seth, no challenges or no defense for Seth. No entry challenge, yes. even though, I mean, you know, you got zero claim on Valor, so it doesn't matter too much, but Be, that fi- that trigger, that getting trigger. another uh, event would have been killer. Yep. You got to watch out for that, and you got to assume that there's not going to be a lot of green icons that Jacob's going to muster Correct. here. So it's essentially a free card. So really now, the, Seth's turn is just looking really sorry. It's grim. Yeah. It's very Sadly. Grim. And I don't know, do you even... I mean, you can't just let Do you Lewin... play cards at this point for them to conceivably just die? Because you have to play more it's than one. You have to so play at least tough. two or else Lewin's gone. We so do there's have one. Syria there's Syria for, for nothing. That's going to help a lot. Mm-hmm. Got a nice stealth military there. Uh, he could... I mean, if he gets... No, there's no way he's going to no be able way. to muster this. But he needs to just drop a bunch of stuff. Okay, he's getting some econ going. That's solid. That's very solid. He's essentially matching uh, Jacob. A little bit of a burst with that C. But it comes down to the characters right now. He has two gold to spend. Yeah, but there he's go. also got two for reducers. He can easily True. put stuff out. This True. is an old school Stark deck. It's got a lot of little guys. He's looking for stuff like carrying birds, uh, refugees. Kyle Condon would be really good here. All of those the, guys. The question is, what what kind of uh, nasty dark wing events is Jacob running? It's always just the sweet. It's basically, is this a good, a good event? Put a it in the deck, rate. you know? Uh, probably one nighttime raid at least. Yeah, at least one. At That's least one and only one. Because you can only run you one. You can only run one. Heaven forbid he has a distinct mastery. Ooh. You know he does. Ooh. You know he's got one in Because there. guess what? Euron's Enforcers has a military it crest. Does. You can stand right back up. I love standing those guys. Dis- As does Euron. Distinctly mastered. A lot of renowned guys. So this could this could easily rush in too. Jacob's got to be feeling really good here. I would. I haven't even marshaled yet, and it's looking good. And there's uh, Kyle. Kyle. Nice. All right. This, this is fundamentals. All right. So we got two. Oh, there's three refugee. characters. This is looking really good for Seth, actually. Yeah, he's, he's definitely he's got his. He's, he's got do. three characters now. Two of them are essentially built to die. Still has two gold. Enforcers is a problem. Mm-hmm. And obviously, probably not a lot of people expecting this kind of a Greyjoy deck, certainly to be in a top no, cut. No, no. Uh, so you gotta you gotta change the way you're thinking because it's not the standard uh, thing. Yeah, this is the kind of Greyjoy deck that is really just playing challenges plus some tricks. Mm-hmm. Two into shadows. It's just a very consistent. It's got the draw engine. Very consistent Greyjoy deck. Good characters. Good raiders. And uh, enforcers from the beginning of the game mm-hmm. has been a, a major hindrance here yes it has it's been a tough thing to deal with currently sitting at four strength so a big problem for seth still four gold on the uh, on the plot card there that's right two reducers are used ready and to drop see somebody a big body. Out. now seth what seth is not wanting here what jacob's probably hoping for would be really killer oh he's got more econ so wait for it I don't know. There's really a lot of times oh, there's Baylor. Man. That's really, really solid. He's got that no quarter in the discard pile, yep. uh, among others. Oh, man. Also, the Raider from Orkwood. Love the Raider from Orkwood. Prized one, and that's the old, if they have more than one icon, they don't count their strength during a challenge against him. Good soul. gravy. So, Sirio can do some uh, defending there, but that's it. But no two claim intrigue. No two and, claim intrigue, which is a pity for Jacob. It's a pity for Jacob. Mm-hmm. And I think he really would have liked to see at least one renowned body on the board right now. Yeah. A Euron or a Balin or something. Because post, start to post Valor, thing. yeah, you want to like accelerate your tempo when your opponent has just kind of ceded some to you. Yeah. Uh, but that didn't really happen here. And Seth's board is looking all right. Seth's board's all right. Jacob's but again, hand is low. The thing that matters most going into these challenges is zero claim for Seth, two for Jacob. Two for Jacob. It's a big turn. Big disparity there, yeah. He's going to get a draw off of Kyle for that, and the Bolton's going to going to bite it. The only shiny side uh, or silver lining for Seth right now is he actually has no power for Jacob to yoink That's off true. of his house card. That's absolutely true. All right, no challenges from Seth. We're going to pass it over to Jacob. And he's got both unopposed, without a doubt. Enforcers on military, and then Baylor uh, stealth in on the, on the power there. That's true. That's That's easy. Just do the math. Just study it out. Just study it out. And you'll know what to do. You'll know what to do, Robert. 
Jacob, as you can tell by his shirt, is from Europe. He Accurate is Europe, spelling. yeah. And there goes, wait, what did we do there? Oh, uh, that was a double... Double mill? Double military challenge, yeah. Oh, but he's using the stealth. Yeah, he's stealthing somebody. I... But Syria's got stealth, so we can always oppose. That's interesting. So, yeah, I think it's just wrong. Yes. But who am I? Who am I? I'm not in the finals. But right, right. Still two die. Because it was a match strength challenge, two to two. In response for Kyle to draw a card. Cards have been drawn. And then gets the unopposed power. Power. Could have got the unopposed uh, military, though. Could have. Too. Could have, yes. I, I'm pretty certain. I think you are. Since I've you're, dusted the old first edition cards I think you're, off, but you're correct. Trying to use the old big brain the there. The old noodle there. Looking through the discard pile. Just checking what events are in there, because... Baylor's outside. Baylor's out, and Baylor's actually a really good, uh, I guess, cloak for Asha, too. That's and right. And Both yes. Asha and Alanis trigger off of three or more non-characters. Uh, so uh, he could be looking to play like an Asha in hand next turn. That would be Ooh. crippling. It would. That'd or, be. I would really like to see that now. Or just something that can close this game out. Because, because this gross. It's Seth is going strong. to get back in this game over the next couple of turns. Yes. Uh, Jacob's hand is running out. Heron Hall is a much stronger draw engine, mm -hmm. especially on top of Lewin and other great cards that I'm sure Seth is running. We all know Kyle's going to keep bouncing now. So we got some good stuff happening. And... I don't know. So Jacob's got a way, got to find a way to get cards here. Yes, he does. He's got to find a way. To, and, and just replacing your events via Dark Wings is not quite. Yeah, it's one for one. What it's, he's looking it doesn't for. get you ahead, it keeps you even. He so, doesn't have to worry about the Valor. Yes. So that's a big thing. That's a, that's a plus. That's a plus. And he has, again, a much stronger board going into the next turn than his opponent. He's got to start his watching His economy is looking good because uh, Seth had a nice turn last turn because he popped economy uh jacobs is a sustaining one it's starting to sustain yeah he's got essentially two gold up right now just because the reducers yep and a save on the board so the board is looking solid and really he the line of attack that he is weak to is hand destruction right now it is critical now the old long voyage decks even used to run negotiations Ooh. to refill the hand in a moment like this. And I'm actually quite curious if Jacob is that. Is that restricted? Running that. I can't remember. In the, in the new, uh, new first Look edition, back. I would have to imagine. It's a it very is. strong card. Let's check. It is. It, it is would restricted. be his restricted card, yeah. So there you go. Well, I wonder if he's doing it then. Yeah, I'm not sure what Jacob's restricted is. We shall is. see. We're going to find out. If it shows up, we'll have an idea. Just wait for it. Just, Seth choosing very carefully. Just to recap, though, Jacob more or less halfway to victory at seven. Seth at zero. And he's Power just got to is. he's got to stop Seth at the hand level, and start to just even out this board. He can do it. This deck can do it. We've seen these Heron Hall decks mm -hmm. do some serious sustained work. That's right. And he still has Lewin, and that's a big win for him at this point, keeping him alive through that valor. He's got Ooh. those green dots, as we say. That's right. Another two claim here from Jacob could also be crippling. Oof. Wow, negotiations looks incredible. It does actually. look really good. This uh, is exactly goodness. what he wants if he's running that. It evens things out, brings him up. That might be the end. Oh man. I hope for that negotiations now. That would really mix things up. Seth is Seth may be All right, plot chosen. Oh, what if he outwitted it or something? Wouldn't mm. that be insane? Oh, negotiations. It is. Just it negotiations. Is. Well called. He did it. And that's a time T for wolves time here for on, wolves. Uh, on Cess. You basically get to uh, search your, uh, for a neutral in-house creature, three or lower. If it's a wolf, you put it into play. A wolf. Uh, and usually they go get Nymeria with this for Lewin. And I bet that's exactly what Seth's going to do. I thought Nymeria was a dragon. No. Then it was a wolf. <laughs> Is that true? I think uh, it was one of the uh, invading Targaryen dragon names. Oh, when they came to no. Westeros. Correct Far me out. if I'm wrong. Leave us a comment. So time for what is basically kind of the answer to your opponent's valor, where you can get Nymeria out and save somebody uh, all at once, which is very nice. You used to do that with uh, At the Gates, I think. can't remember if that still works. Get Windy out. And I would imagine it still works. Trigger the valor. Whether people do it or not. That's another matter. That's another matter completely, isn't it? Nymeria. 
All right, so negotiations. Wow, that's a big deal. So, of course, Two uh, plot. Seth has to go Dangerous. first so mm -hmm. that he can trigger his time for wolves, I think, after the... Well, I guess if he's put into the board, it doesn't much matter. That's right. It is a time for wolves. It's always a time for wolves. Wolves. Wolf. Around these parts. This here, Tulsa. How about Stark versus Greyjoy? No nonsense, man. The Final Thrones first edition game, and there's just no nonsense. There's no nonsense. These are... Fundamental decks. There's no they're trait both, manipulation going on. They're both on. looking no for plot cycling. card and economy strength and strong characters to win challenges. It's a great finale. This is what we're looking for. And, the, and the events are merely reinforcing what challenges are already doing for the most part in these yeah. decks. Except for that dissension early on. What was that about? Well, it happened, man. It happened. There was dissension in the ranks. you got to have one dissension in your Dark Wings deck. Yes. Every Dark Wings deck. One dissension. One dissension, because sometimes there are even two refugees And the Fugees are back. The Fugees are back. are back. They used to be just rumor they were restricted. They restricted them for a time, and I thought that was one of the best FAQs ever. All right. So leave us a comment. What do you think about when the uh, Fugees are restricted or not? Does it open things up? Does it close things off? Probably both. I'll tell you what. I mean, this is why 2nd Edition, one of the reasons 2nd Edition came around was that the, the cost curve just became too stuffed yeah, together. Yeah, concentrated. You couldn't play anything over uh, you three, know, three or four, mm -hmm. hardly at all. You're looking you, at that sweet you spot You spent five three. gold on anything other than a red viper. People are like, what are you doing over or there? Or apparently a Euron's you know, Enforcer. Euron's Enforcer. Apparently. Thing. Can you imagine dropping that in setup? Yes, sir. Of course. It's just, it's nothing no but sir. a dream. No sir. No Bob. And he's still here, hanging out. All right, so we got the draw. So both players chucked their hands back in and drew a fresh five. A freshen. And then uh, we've got a time it, for Woods going to resolve. It certainly helped Jacob, but did it help or hurt Seth? We can only imagine. I think he had like six or seven in hand when he triggered that. But did he have, get better cards? Well, he must have been hoping for Let's it. Let's hope it. For the sake of this game. He needs to make it. If, and the audience is He at home. really has to make it out of this negotiations turn in a big way. He needs a big turn here. Yes. Big turn. Yes, he does. And what is the wolf that is going to do it? Hey, don't don't mix it up on us. You can't just say wolf all, all wolf. of us. Wolf. Wolf. The, ph the phonetics and the written word of wolf is hilarious. W-O-L-F. That's a real word. Wow. And we're supposed to pronounce that somehow. And we do on a regular basis. Unless the whole world is supposed say to learn this language. Wolf. Like, it's, uh, you know, I, I always, it's very bizarre. We're so lucky that we speak English. And uh, a lot of other people do too. Yes. Know? Because it really is just a nonsense it's, it's language. It's a nonsense language. The four letters that make up Sorry, the word guys. wolf make Especially no sense. Especially like together. Jacob, poor Jacob. Like, how well, I mean, to learn Swedish what a wolf is, is also something of a comical language, as I, guess I that's understand true. it. There's a lot of, like, even uh, cartoons and comics and whatnot that are just like, oh, you're speaking Swedish? That just sounds funny. The Swedish chef. Everybody yeah, yeah, knows of course. Him. Of course. He's hilarious. He's well, not what do you need to know? He's not a stereotype at all, I'm a, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's how all Swedes are. Very normal. River blockade. With a y, apparently. This river blockade. Uh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Tell us what Aaron it does, Stephen. Oh, it's so good. Cancel the first location effect triggered by your opponent each round. Plunder, going to give him two gold for those two locations over there on Seth's side of the board. What in the dealio? And that's two card draws after negotiations off of two events that he plays in the marshalling phase. That's crazy. More gold. Oh, Things are really building man. ahead of steam over on Jacob's side of the board. He hasn't even brought a character out yet. Just First nuts. reduce. Second reduce. Third time's a lady. And oh, we got, ooh, we got four a Four costs something something. Oh There's my the Vic. goodness. There's the Vic. Raises the claim by one if you have the most navels in the challenge. And guess what? He probably will. He probably will. That We're looking at as, mu as much as a three claim intro. Now, does he have to be participating? Currently. Yes. Okay. He does indeed. You can throw him into that military challenge out of nowhere and just start cleaving some heads. And look at all the, uh, the crests on this board. I think we're getting set up here for a... Distinct mastery, eventually. There could be one. I'm betting there's I'm, one in that big I'm sure, deck. <laughs> I'm sure that Jacob's running at least one. One of them. <laughs> no more, no less. No more, Just no one. Less. Just one. I'm very selective. I only use one because of my agenda. Because I, yeah, I'm, I'm different. Necessitated. It's there are rules. Oh, oh man. Sunset Sea. Just dropping this, it, this popping just, it. This is just like the, the old, old drop and pop. This is the old long voyage. It is deck. a long voyage deck, very much. But even Seth's more, got to get something going even here. Even more better, though. 
Yeah, because this board is already going to be a challenge for Seth to match. Yeah. He's only getting four uh, gold this turn unless he gets some drop and pop economy. Uh, and I love that. We have never said drop and pop before, and that is just absolutely what that should be called. The last Thrones game, we figured this out? Yeah, I'm sorry. Sheesh. We should have been new, on uh, R&D on the, the funny jargon way sooner than now. We can call the new second edition. We can call it uh, the King's Road. Hey, you got any drop and pop? pop? Pop and drop. Drop and pop. Drop and pop. Drop and pop. Yeah, totally. <laughs> now, also, River Blockade is going to be shutting down. Oh, Asha, there she is. Asha, great there, there she is. There she is. There this she is. This is what we're talking about. This is the kind of seal or upper. So oh, my goodness. Just by Vic and Asha being on the board now, he can win by next Maybe turn right for now. sure. I mean, it could be right now. I haven't it could be right that. now. The only problem is that uh, Seth doesn't have any gold to steal. Not gold, power. And Asha, me. man, she used to be... I remember the days when she was restricted. You guys, Jacob, you don't even know. I mean, you probably do. You were playing, I'm yeah. sure, the whole time. But. She's restricted in melee, but that is not this. Yeah. What's a melee? So this is a substantial board. Jacob also getting his first Intrigue icon. Yeah, so, like, Seth has... Well, not his first, but... Seth has got to put up some green one. dots here. He can't let an Asha Intrigue and military yes. happen. Yes, otherwise Jacob's just going to run away with this. Because Asha stands up. There's Sansa, and if you have less command, uh, you get to go search your deck for a card. Weirdest mechanic in first edition, maybe. Yes. Uh, among a list of many potentially weird mechanics. It's, but, a, it's a mechanic that honestly just takes a little too long. Like, it's just go a ahead and weird. count every card. Yeah, the bookkeeping is bizarre on it. And so now they're counting it up, and I think Seth is one command shy of Jacob, which means he will get to search his deck. Ooh! And I have to imagine that that math was done before Sansa was played, but she's also accomplishing the goal of stuffing that first Asha challenge, which oh. is very important. Yeah, also cards call, uh, excuse me, counts cards in hand, which... It does so, indeed. Yeah. Yep. It's all kinds of things. So yeah, count... It's like 13 to 14. Cards in play, cards in hand. It's a little, a little crazy. But it's a thing. Well, now Seth, Seth's going to look at what's going to help my current situation. And I'm quite curious what he values here. I, I don't know. Two gold in the pool. Maybe a, maybe a cold hands? Maybe a cold hands. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Not even a no I, quarter is I think, valuable here. I don't know. Does cold hands have to pull in? you got to be careful, though, because you got three claim potentially coming in. Yeah. And it, there, there aren't any good options because it's like you want to hit the enforcers because it's an auto win card for any challenge it's participating in right now. But then you do have uh, Victorian there, who's a beast. And you have to Asha, Asha. who's a beast. And even uh, old Black Tide there. Black Tide, a big problem. Canceling all kinds of great events that I'm sure Seth is running duplicates of that may or may not already be in his discard pile. So it's like this is the kind of nastiness that makes playing against Greyjoy just a delight. It's absolutely delightful, isn't it? It's a delight. I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> you must have enjoyed all of our games all those, these many years ago. All those what seemed like then punitive Game of Thrones games. <laughs> it's like, what did I do wrong? Why am I being punished in this this way? Well, the Great Joys aren't really concerned with justice. No, they aren't. I think that's the answer we're looking they're the, for. They're the house of yoink. <laughs> And they, they, just, they just take whatever they want, including your fun. Mine. <laughs> Mine. I'm going to have fun because I get to do what I want to do, and you get nothing. And you get nothing. Mm. Now, that said, we do have a second edition finals coming down the pipeline. Which In which the yoinking was, was not strong. Was not strong? What? Are we sure they were real Greyjoys? Were they made know. out they're of those, real Girl Scouts? They're those new fancy-pantsy second edition Greyjoys. Which, come to find out, by the way, having looked at the cards and uh, played with them a few times, are the real deal. I don't know if once is a few, Stephen. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, really wanted Night's Watch more than anything. For some reason, I just love, you know, you love the weird stuff. I, well, uh, Night's, Night's Watch is even more desolate than the Iron Islands. So, you want to go up north to the freezing wastes? And Man, camp what, did, out what on just happened? We just got the wolf's wood or the, uh, yeah, the heart tree. Heart the, tree. What is that? Is that the reducer for them? Yeah. It's their little reducer. It's their little reducer for Greyjoy. Not Greyjoy. Stark. Excuse me. So that's... Of all the cards you get, you go get that card. So you have to be putting a three drop in here, right? I, I have to imagine. Or maybe it was just like a, a holistic assessment that... He yeah. can't win unless he starts getting things out long term. He can get some things out now in a stall at least, but he has to stabilize. So look, here comes the chaff that will hold some shape of a board together. A bird and a bird. There's easy fodder. 
Okay. All right. This is fair. Okay. So. That's my assessment of what just happened there and why. This still looks like there's going to be an there's going to be too many unopposed challenges here. It's going to be a problem. Yes, because there's still going to be three claim on this military challenge. It's crazy. Just cleaving right through. Yeah, I'm Victorian. Hello. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Asha coming in for a two claim intrigue potentially. Mm. Yeah, and if he blocks it, which he has to, he has to, then he gets nothing. Unopposed power. So it's like ah. Man, what a bummer. I, how is this going to go? Let's see. We have one or not. And Asha's not kneeling. Correct. So we've got a Renown there. We've got an Unopposed. Then we've got another Unopposed. Then we've got Dominance. And potentially a third. Man. It doesn't stack up well for Seth right now. There's Boros. Ooh, coming out of coming out. Plus That's actually, one. Seth needed that. Plus one to everybody. Yeah. That's going to help. So so Lewin will by himself be able to stuff the Asha challenge here. That's important. That's very important. Uh, that leaves Sansa on the board to potentially retaliate with an intrigue and start to get uh, hand size down on Jacob's side of the board. There is potential here. There is some potential. But coming in, setting up Vic and maybe the Enforcers for a... Uh, First swing military start challenge. With, start with the enforcers. Put Vic in uh, whenever you see how it resolves, without a doubt. Yep. And Jacob may have a pre-challenge business here. Just some business. It's business time. Let's see if he's got anything. A lot of consideration here. Now, remember that River Blockade already canceled that heart tree, mm. which is one of the reasons probably that Seth got, got it, it out. That's probably actually it, more of the reason than the anything. Heron Hall card. More of the reason than anything. I think you've actually hit the nail on the head. You just got to think it out. Study it out a little bit. Study it out. You just study it out. And there it is. Enforcers are coming in. Big boy five strength. Papa Enforcers. They're not playing around. But is it military or power? It's military. Okay. I mean, it has to be. It has Jacob to be. didn't right. get here making a power challenge right there. And then he's going to navel in. There you go, Vicky. Navel in the Vic for a three claim. And now things get interesting. We got Nymeria for a save over there on Lewin. Still a five strength challenge for the Greyjoys. Only five, yeah. Because Intimidate's weird. Intimidate's in first edition. super weird. Oh, Cicero is going bye bye. Claiming all the stealthy military guys. Whew. That really, uh... Oh, Narrow there's escape, Narrow. He's and pitching. Jacob's pitching. We see a great wick and one other out of hand. So Not much to lose for Jacob here. Yeah, not not a big deal. But this is Seth. Seth now has... He's in the... Pl- he, the plan mm-hmm. here is sustain and just stop the assault. Stop the assault. Slow it down. Oppose every challenge you possibly can. Get out of here next plot, and then plot after you can start to kind of take over this game. Seth has, I think, three cards in hand. So if somehow Jacob can get a Intrigue Challenge win here, uh, that's a pretty big deal. Also, by pitching this Narrow Escape now, no more Narrow Escapes can be played because no of escapes. Black Tide. Yeah. Which, if Jacob can keep Black Tide in play, which he should be able to very in handily, um, that is like the Achilles heel of Seth Stacks. That's his restricted card. Poses with both. Both. That is a, a, a miscalc, potentially. Doesn't yeah. Nymeria even boost strength? I'm not sure. No, I think it's only if like Arya's out. Okay. But Lewin there at four. Yes. Probably should have just blocked with him, but it's easy to forget that trigger. Everything gets plus one until he until the end of the phase. That's so right. So he could have stopped it there with four. I don't think I'm missing anything on I that I don't one. think you are. That leaves Sansa up, which I think is is worth doing. Still a power challenge yet to go if Jacob wants it. See, now if Sansa's up, he can oppose this power challenge and at least prevent one power gain. So mm-hmm. there, there's been a couple of opportunities here. And those, those little power, you know... Potential that just stacks up, and don't forget about winning dominance. Jacobs mm-hmm. can still do it with what he has here, of course. He even has one gold to spare, looking good. Now, the other issue is that Jacob didn't send Asha in, correct? Uh, I think she was still a non kneeler before the narrow escape was played. Mm-hmm. I believe she was. Boros comes back in on the power challenge, which you got to do, it's what you have to do. Gives two to Seth, which is kind of a, a big deal for Jacob. He hasn't been able to steal power from Seth, more or less all gamex outside of the first turn. Yeah, this this could actually set up a win next turn, but you also have to take power away from him to prevent the win. So it's kind of, it's one of those That's hard right. decisions. Mm-hmm. What challenge am I going to do? Why? And this is without a doubt the plot phase that determines if Seth's going to be able to win this game. Yes. 
He's got to have something real good right now. I think Jacob wants to seal this game up immediately. He's got the board to seal it up, so we'll have to wait and see. Flipsies. Oh, it's a rise from the Kraken. Oh, that's a sealer oh, up kind of Kraken. a plot. Oh, my gosh. Talk but about seal it up. City of Sin is a reasonable foil. Get to kneel two characters, kneel enforcers, and... one, yeah. It's just the... Uh, and yeah, Asha. Yeah, there you Asha. go. Good good choices, both. Oh, no. He's just using Asha because it's, uh, it's only at the gates currently in the used pile. Oh, you're right. Since they don't go to the use until the end. So there's Enforcers is down. So that's a that's a temporary fix. Okay, so that but helps. I, I still think that Jacob has the presence here to get the unopposed, unopposed challenges where and when he wants. But he's only on two cards. That's right. What Seth needs to do here is just lay out a big, big board. I don't know if he has the gold to do it. I don't know if he has the hand to do it. That's right. Oh, I, I see him just staring at a no quarter. No quarter that he can't play. That he can't play. It's unfortunate, but Boy, Black Tide... all the gray joys. Black Tide is awful. Oh, isn't he, isn't he crazy? Oh, he's just the worst. That card has nearly caused a few table flips. I was flipping, by the way. Robert was the guy flipping the table. Just, or trying to. I'm, not, I'm just enraged. That I had, played uh, a cancel. We had to quit the game, go get a McRib to settle down, and then resume play. Yeah, you know when you're eating a McRib to settle down, things have gone really I, wrong. I need this for me. This is better. This McRib is better than what was happening earlier, which is saying a lot. Hard to believe. That's actually. right. Team Europe's going to play out a cold oh, hands. Oh, the hands are chilly today. Insult to injury. Going to take Lewin. Yoinkity yoink. Discarding yoink, Nymeria. Yoink. Taking some nobody. Some from nobody. Jacob's own board. Don't matter. Doesn't matter. That's a so powerful that's, yoink. That's a, that's a wild play. It is a wild play. But it, it gives him more leverage. Yeah, and it's it, Jacob wants to win this game this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got the cold hands out there. It looks like he has one card in hand. So this is where it literally, though, oh, oh he, he seals it up. He calls it. He knows He knows it's Concession. over. Concession. Given, given the gold and, yep. and the way that, you, you know, he got nine power, he's only got to get six more. That's right. It's, without a doubt, all these unopposed challenges. These guys are hugging it out for the first edition the final, tournament finale. The final, final. Worlds, guys. To end them all. Greyjoy Raiders wins all of first edition. Last one wins it all. Steven's the happiest man in the world after it's Jacob incredible. right now. It's incredible. Congrats Woo! to Sweden. Congrats to Jacob. Congrats to Seth and everyone uh, responsible for A fine game that, to that round, the, round this out. And a, and a respectable Dex to see in the final final of this illustrious Absolutely. Game of Thrones 1.0. History. I could not be happier with could this, not be the happier. way this turned out. Thanks for watching, guys. For all of us, uh, all of you guys following us on our first edition journey, it started way back. Way back. With Steven Speaks and Robert Rance and all of that six years six ago. Six years ago, way Seems too long like ago. Seems like millennia. Yeah. Thanks for joining us for all this. Move on to second edition with us. It's, it's a gonna blast. It's going to be just as fun, if not more. More funner we'll than ever. We'll see you there. Thanks, guys. Worlds 2015, we're out of here. Peace.